Gareth Davies, welcome to the show. Thank you for, for your time. Nice uh, Gareth, um, how are you? How's your business doing in, in COVID-19 and uh, how did you experience it? Yeah, well, it's, um, yeah, it's very difficult times um, for everybody at the moment. But, you know, as a business, um, we're, we're coping very well um, with it. Um, certainly sort of our central ops in Cheltenham, um, they're all remote working. The entire office was shut down weeks ago before the lockdown. Um, and um, probably 95% of people are working from home um, and still business as usual. So, um, yeah, we, had, we adapted to that very quickly as a company. Yeah. Um, and the majority of the workforce is out there, you know, um, supporting the key workers um, uh, and sort of the important bit is keeping the UK pest free at the moment um, because, cool. you know, there is a... a a massive influx of rats running about the um, the place at the moment um, for obvious reasons. Mm. Um, but yeah, you know, we, we, we're quite lucky. We've had no staff that have been hospitalised. We've had a few self-isolate. Um, mm. But um, as a whole, um, no, we're doing very well. Superb. Can you can you uh, elaborate a little bit further on what you just mentioned? I've seen you post a, an article on LinkedIn um, on the topic of rats and pests generally um, now exploding in inner cities and uh, yeah. uh, areas where people are you know not present anymore. Maybe you can say a little bit about, about that. Yeah, I think um, obviously the, the pest controllers are always sort of at the bottom of the pile as regards key worker status, mm -hmm. um, and thanks to sort of. Um, Henry and his good work in um, in chasing um, sort of number 10 on that one. So thanks, Henry. Um, he's worth a mention. Um, but, you know, even customers didn't realise really that they thought they could just board up and, um, and shut down for three to six weeks. Yeah. But when you start talking to the customers and, and making them aware of, you know, pests don't go to sleep, um, and do you really want to open your doors um, after six weeks and, and, yeah. and your pub restaurant or whatever is, is totally overrun and you've had cube cables chewed and beer lines chewed, you know, you could be, you know, opening the doors to um, a horrendous situation, which, you know, could take you another month to recover. So when, once, you know, the facts were explained to customers, customers have started to sort of give us keys in some circumstances for big chains so we can make sure... Um, that their sites are pest free, um, you know, come the lift of the lockdown, which will hopefully be um, sooner rather than later. Yeah, absolutely. I'm with you on that. Super. Yeah, I think that education is um, so important currently because a lot of clients, you know, just uh, are hanging in the midst of it and don't know where to go if, if pest control still needs to be performed. But I think that style of education is extremely valuable for the public so thank you i've seen your company doing a lot of that um gareth can you tell me a little bit more about disinfectix uh terminix is known for pest control and many more services but you are now um, um uh, publicly advertising your new service of disinfection and uh, you also uh, i think you founded the new brand disinfectix right maybe you can tell um, tell us a little bit about that I, I don't think i can claim the founding of the disinfectix that, and that was <laughs> Um, certainly sort of released by our uh, um, American friends oh, yeah. uh, for the next commercial um, in the States. Um, but um, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a very good name, Disinfectix, um, which I think has mm -hmm. also been registered now as well. Cool. Um, so yeah, we, we sort of jumped off the back of, of that name and, and, you know, we use that in the UK now. Um, so yeah, a very good name. And, you know, if we, if we think about it, certainly in the pest control industry, you know, this disinfecting um, is nothing new to the pest control industry. We've done this for a long time um, through, if we get large bird jobs, you know, rather than sending a technician in to remove a load of guano in a roof space, yeah. then we disinfect first, you know, so there's nothing really new in this. You know, some of the disinfectant products have changed um, um, to make sure we capture, um, you know, what's required um, for this particular virus. But, you know, and, and you can't claim to kill this virus 100% because nobody can do that because nobody knows the actual strains of it at the moment. Um, but, you know, what we are um, certainly marketing is that we disinfect um, and we'll take that school, public place, office block um, back to zero through either ULV treatment, fogging um, and high um, touch point um, wipe down. Um, and, and that's what we do and we do it very well 
Perfect. Yeah, I think um, uh, for for some companies um, that you know the disinfection is is definitely something new. Uh, of course, it always has been a present yeah. in pest control, and not for everybody. I'm sure for companies like yourselves that are a little bit bigger, it was always a part of the big business. Um, but of, of course, for some SMEs. It was nearly forgotten, but I think uh, the the presence of COVID nineteen and the viruses and bacteria, etc., that we are dealing as pest controllers any day with, uh, now highlighted and brought to our attention much more, which I think um, is at a place where it belongs. And I also think that uh, us changing our course towards disinfection is definitely a win for the for the for the industry. Gareth. Um, okay. What would be your thoughts on, on the industry? I think uh, you know you, your experience in, in in your role, and you've you've um, experienced some crisis before. So, um, what is your outlook? Uh, of course, uh, it's it's objective, and uh, nobody knows when uh, or ever things are going out of lockdown. But uh, how do you think uh, is going, pest control going to behave in the crisis versus, let's say, other sorts of industries that are currently now struggling? Um, well, it's, it's a difficult one. I can only sort of speak for what we're doing in Terminex. Mm -hmm. um, but certainly many years ago, people would remember the sort of the foot and mouth um, um, episode. Um, and, you know, we were heavily involved um, in that, not through Terminex, but a, a previous pest mm -hmm. control company um, where we had key worker status then. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, pest control companies can still you know, there's lots of furloughing been going on um, with some companies, but yeah. I think you've just got to think outside the box sometimes that even though the smaller pest control companies, they can't get into some of their sites, understandably, but there's nothing stopping um, in, in checking the outsides of buildings because, as we know, rats are coming from outside indoors um, to look for harboring food. So, you know, you've just got to, you know, the, the smaller pest control companies, um, that need to survive, they, they need to be looking at, you know, servicing externally at, at some point because that's going to give some protection. Yep. Um, as regards the lockdown, yeah, we're in it for another sort of two and a half weeks. Yep. Is this going to be extended? Probably, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I think they'll start, um, you know, loosening um, the restrictions as regards um, bringing the economy um, sort of um, back into play. Um, and I think that will certainly be in the sort of the um, the, the, the building um, infrastructure, transport, and that kind of thing to slowly bring um, the economy um, back up to speed. Um, but unfortunately, I think you know um, places like pubs and restaurants and sort of mass gatherings, you know, that's going to be the last thing because you know social distancing um, is certainly going to be a big big part of this going forward to make sure. Um, we we don't get another episode um, of the way it's affected us so far. So I think, you know, the use of masks and surgical masks certainly are going to be a big part of our life for the next 12 months. Yeah, definitely. We sort of have to get used to a new face of people uh, as uh, per social distancing, what you just mentioned, uh, a yeah. new face of people running around in, in inner cities, etc. probably for the next 12 months. Yeah, Gareth, uh, super interesting to learn. Terminix is doing a lot of disinfection works. Uh, also great to learn that you guys were assigned as key workers um, and uh, that you're working proactively uh, supporting the UK economy. Um, and uh, last but not least, um, I, I want to uh, go into detail and ask a question about what you personally uh, uh, publicly announced. Um, you, I know you uh, yourself are and always have been a strong supporter of the NHS in the UK, yeah. especially, and uh, supporting the folks. So you thought yeah. yourself was something very special to support them. So maybe you can, uh, you can, you can tell us what. Yeah, well, um, I need a haircut. Yeah, I have my haircut <laughs> in three weeks. So I'm struggling. I'm putting far too much gel on my hair to hide my gray hair for a start. <laughs> um, so, I thought, <laughs> so I thought, what, what, what can I do? I thought, right, let's raise some money. Let's try it. Um, so I've decided to sort of um, um, sort of shave my head down to a number one. Um, and then people have sort of have jumped in and said, well, why not have a Mohican? I've said, okay, you need to donate more money then. And then some have come back, well, why not dye green for the Terminex? Um, <laughs> the Terminex oh green, um, <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, all, all this is going to happen on Thursday evening. You know, the kids Thursday? Taken, yeah, Thursday evening. Um, the kids have taken great pleasure in ordering um, green 
um, permanent hair dye. Oh, I believe that. Um, and then they're going to shave my head as well. So, um, so yeah, <laughs> um, the pictures will be released um, on Friday. Um, oh, I, have right. various, I have various video calls on Friday with, <laughs> with, our, with our counterparts in the States and UK. So, um, so yeah, I think we're going to get some shocked faces when I appear. Um, <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Very cool. You know, it's uh, we've raised uh, so far. Um, I've raised um, thanks to the people who've sort of donated so far. I think we're up to sort of seven hundred pounds in the first you know, day and a half. So, um, wow. you know, it's um, it's something, isn't it? You know, I'm trying. Yeah, to cool, it. absolutely. You know, yeah, and, everybody uh, who's. Pounds. Everybody who sees the video, I'm going to link uh, Gareth post uh, under the video in the description so you can all uh, still donate until Thursday. This video is going to come live on Wednesday, so we have some time. Daniel, you've got some lovely locks there, so wh why don't you join me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll do the same challenge and donate it to our German NHS. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, def yeah, I definitely need to get a haircut as well, Gareth. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Hey, Mike, to sum up, uh, thank you very much for uh, letting us having a sneak peek into how Terminix is dealing with the crisis, as we see very well. Um, thank you very much for um, for continuous work and especially disinfectant uh, um, works that help us very much, especially in the crisis. Pest control is definitely one of the businesses that is not economically affected, as we see per today. Um, maybe in the contrary, maybe it can even be some growth, uh, at least for these areas, you know, that are not like you know, the pubs that we're servicing or, you know, restaurants that are definitely having some weak, weak uh, um, or, yeah, maybe some bankruptcies even that are going to be filed. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see. But uh, all in all, uh, um, we've got to admit uh, uh, pest control is still very stable and um, we're still very proud of, to work in it. Gareth, thanks yes. for your time. Uh, okay. Really look forward to Friday. Yes. Yeah, I bet everyone does except me. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Super Thanks very much and, um, and stay safe. You too.